Okay, can you tell us your name, please? Hello, I am Diera. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't all right, and, uh, I'm Diera. Today, I just wanted to ask you a couple questions um, okay. because, because well, I know, but they might not know that you are an actor, and um, and also you, you know, went to college like a lot of other people, and in you know, in the in the podcast episode what we did. You were talking about how uh, people don't want to give you a chance because of experience and stuff like that. So I wanted to ask you a couple questions like that because it's, you know, it's hard out here sometimes just getting your foot in the door. So the first thing I wanted to ask you was how do you handle it when people deny you or they don't want to give you a chance? And that could be for job acting or any other hobby or anything else. Well, I definitely don't let that stop me. Um, you tell me no. I mean, it might sting or depending on what it is, it might hurt, but I'm like, oh, okay. It's like I use that, oh, okay. Like if you think that's gonna stop me, all right. So I go on to the next thing. You've been, you've been told no a lot. Yeah. A lot. A lot. Especially <laughs> uh, dealing with, well, with, with uh, work, like, using your degree and getting in your field and all that, but also with acting. Yeah, but that's a part of it. I mean, you're not gonna get every single thing. Even if you are good for something, I mean, you're not gonna get every single thing that you want, no matter how good you may be at it for whatever reason, so. Oh, because a lot of, I don't want to ask that because a lot of people let no discourage them mm -hmm. and and I think it's normal to feel sad and stuff at first, but it's very important, as you know, to just, you gotta pick yourself up and keep going. As, you know, as sucky as it feels, you just gotta keep it going. So I think that's an awesome quality about you. Thank you. All right, the next question I have is, what do you, what do you say is the first step to getting started with whatever your career path is or whatever industry you're trying to get into? Well, First, you should definitely learn about it. I feel like a lot of people go into things without learning about it. And you don't have to learn every single thing because a lot of times you tend to learn things as you're doing it, like as you're experiencing it. But I would say definitely learn and get information about it first. So that way you know that you're either doing it right or that you're on the right path mm -hmm. or so you don't get used or be gullible, mm -hmm. just depending on what it is. Yeah, that just reminds me of all those um like all those fake kid things. Oh, you want to be on Disney Channel? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. And they so. be having flyers of like Hannah Montana from like 2008. Mm -hmm. and it's like you know. At hotel. Yeah. yeah. And, and usually they're held at hotels. Like, yeah. they don't do open casting calls, but you know. Yeah. You got to have a. I would guess you have to have an end to get in at Disney Channel. You don't just come show up to a hotel. I don't know exactly what it is, but that ain't it. So it's, it's good to definitely learn about whatever it is that you're doing. Okay, awesome, awesome. So you say, do your research. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because if you want to, or if you want to work somewhere, have a job somewhere, go into a profession, of course, what do you need to do? You need to learn about it, you know? Yeah. You can't just, oh, pick me. All right, the next question I have is, what mistakes did you make that you would warn others about? Hmm, well, that's one I didn't really think think about. Mistakes I made. I don't think I made. Did you send, well, did, I don't remember if you did or not, but did you send, when you were writing a scene? Oh. Did you, I think you sent something to them that maybe yeah. you shouldn't have or yeah. something? Oh, like yeah, oh yeah. Can you talk about that? Okay, so um, I got connected to this guy um, that was getting into doing short films so I ended up coming up with an idea and he only asked for an idea but me, because another thing about me is I'm a writer. I got my degree in it and I just love it. Um, so I ended up writing a, a full on scene. I actually wrote two scenes mm -hmm. and then I sent it to him and I should not have done that. I just don't think that it's smart to just up and send people your work, mm -hmm. especially if nothing's kind of like 
not set in stone or mm -hmm. just like further along mm -hmm. or maybe you can send kind of like with an audition um their sides and um i regret that i did that because i'm like well what if you know and then i don't know him that well like mm -hmm. what if he just up and shoot something using my work mm -hmm. and what i should have did was maybe send him like a little piece or just even told him the idea because mm -hmm. he didn't ask for us to write a scene he just asked for us to come up with the ideas yeah. but the writer and me i was just excited i was just going yeah. so i was i was disappointed in myself because that was my creativity and i'm like great i done sent it to somebody that i don't really know like that mm -hmm. i don't think that he's used it to this day but it doesn't matter anyway yeah. but that's definitely something where i was like oh i should not have done that yeah but i also think that even though you did that's not nothing that you can't not anything that you can't i don't know if recover is the right word because even if somebody does take your work and do something with it they can't do it the way you would have done it that is that's a good point point. and you know no shade it wasn't good <laughs> the audio wasn't matching up with the girl was, yeah. it was shaky cam all over the place mm -hmm. it was a mess so yeah even if even if he did it it still wouldn't have came out as well without you being a part of it so i think that's a good thing for people to, you know, think about. And just remember that although it sucks, even if somebody does do it, you have more in you. Yeah. To pull out. Even if they do an amazing job with it and you just, you know, you get no part credit or whatever, you still have more in you. Yeah. Um It's a good one, Monty. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The next question I have is how do you deal with the disappointment of um of people not being firm in their word and what they say? or um, like an opportunity not working out the way you thought it would. How do you handle that? Well, I have met a lot of people that they have these ideas, so they want to shoot something or, or do something, but then when it times, but when it comes time to actually do it, poof, they're gone. <laughs> or, or they just don't want to put in the work to do it. Like the family out there, they just disappear. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> There have been times where I have wanted to get custom demo scenes done, remember? Yeah. And um, both of the companies, they advertise that. That is what they do. They do custom demo scenes. They were advertising it. One of them I contacted, and then I didn't hear from him. Again, I'm like, what the heck going on? He went ghost. Steady posting on his Facebook. Memes and all. Memes and all. And then there was another, <laughs> and then there was another guy from a company and it's like a little chain that they do it too and the same thing happened. And there's been just lots of other times where people, I call them hot gassers. They, oh yeah, great. We should do this and we should do that and da 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 And then, like I said, they go ghost or. Yeah, so how do you, so how do you handle that though? Um, so I find another way and I did. So the meetup scene is something that you and I did together. Um, I don't want to make this too long, <laughs> but basically I was trying to get a custom demo scene done by someone else, but that particular person, it just didn't work out. He wasn't willing to budge. Um, so I'm like, you know what? Imani has all this equipment. Let's do it. So I came up with the idea of the meetup scene and Imani is a great videographer. We went to the local park one day and we shot it. Like, so it was that, it's, it's like that attitude of, oh, okay, well y'all wanna, you know, play around and, and not give me an opportunity? Well, I'm gonna create my own. And we did that scene and it won me a scholarship to a filmmaking for actors class. So, you might have to cut some of that out, it's long. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not the snort. <laughs> okay. And then the last question I have is, what would you say about people who appear a little too eager or thirsty and they might be begging for an opportunity? Stop it. Just stop it. I mean, it's not a good look, huh? It's a Michael Jordan. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> stop it. Get some help because it, it's not a good look. An example I can give. Yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay, start over. To give an <laughs> to give an example, um, I was a part of a web series for a short period of time, 
and it was gonna be filming in a whole nother state. And that was all that she said. And everybody that was in the comments of the group that, that was a part of it was like, great, yeah, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. What was the, I told you, the guy, one of the guys was like, um, checkmate, um, I'll go, yeah, thank God, checkmate. And I'm like, if something is filming in, in, in a whole nother state, you need to ask questions. Okay, so what are the shoot dates? How long? What city? Is it gonna pay? All right, thanks, De'Aaron. Do you have any advice to people who are trying to break into any type of industry or trying to get into something new? Can you give any, a quick tip or advice? Do your research and don't give up. And when people say no or it seems like doors are slamming on you, find another way. And research again to see what you can do different. Start to strategize, basically. Like, okay, they don't want me. Okay, well, I'm gonna figure out another. Way. There's always, there's always another way. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. There's, there's always another way. Okay, that's yeah. good. I like it. All right, thank you so much. Thank and you. And we'll see y'all later. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much, Dear, for helping me out here um, in the series. I'm gonna have the playlist of my series called Leadership 101. Then watch the next video somewhere here and here. Oh, also like, comment, and subscribe, and share it. Share it. Share it. Share it. Share it. Share it. Thank you. Bye. Right, you know, 29 minutes. So, uh, not that close. Oh boy. Okay, stop. Dear, this might end up in the bloopers. You be oh. silly. <laughs> you keep playing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs>